The opioid epidemic has plagued West Virginia for many years, and the harm that these drugs cause goes much deeper than the user. 12 News' Gwen Napier talked with a specialist about the effects these drugs might have on infants. She joins us live now in the studio. Gwen? Eric, when finding out they're pregnant, quitting these highly addictive drugs can be difficult for users, which leads to an increase of neonatal abstinence syndrome. WVU Medicine Children's and Impact West Virginia are working hard to make sure these infants have a fighting chance of growing up strong. Nearly one in eight infants born in West Virginia between 2020 and 2022 had in utero exposure to opioids, stimulants, and or cannabis, according to researchers at West Virginia University Health Sciences. In order to help infants, mothers, and families affected by neonatal abstinence syndrome, WVU Medicine Children's and the Impact West Virginia program have partnered to offer a new clinic for families with diagnosed infants. These are children who um, have been exposed to certain substances or have been diagnosed with neonatal abstinence syndrome, um, which is a withdrawal syndrome from you know, various substances that they might have been exposed to in the womb. And we're really interested in following these kids from a growth and nutrition and developmental standpoint and also wanting to help facilitate them from a social aspect, the whole family as a unit, to make sure that all, all of their needs are provided so that they can best care for their children. According to Smith, the care starts with the mom by the OB provider and a behavioral health specialist. Once the child is born, routine prenatal care is the next best step. Once that child is born and they're in the hospital, we do observe them for any signs or symptoms of withdrawal. Um, a lot of times if a mom has done well in a treatment program, these children do extremely well, oftentimes not needing any medication. Most children born with neonatal abstinence syndrome can go home within about five days, while some are in the hospital up to two weeks for treatment. Once the child is diagnosed to go home, the clinic will help take over care from there and provide the specialized care that these children might need. As part of the new clinic, Impact West Virginia is providing patient navigation services along with social workers from WVU Medicine Children's to share resources with families and connect mothers to recovery support. To learn more about Impact West Virginia and the NAS follow-up clinic, you can call the Center of Excellence in Disabilities at 304-293-4692. Tomorrow, we'll bring you the final part in our fentanyl crisis series. Barbara Ron will be bringing us a look into a WVU medicine team using ultrasound technology to treat opioid addiction. Reporting live in the studio for 12 News, I'm Gwen Napier.